हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ बेसिकली वी कैन क्रिएट दिस ऑसम लिटिल एक्सेल स्प्रेडशीट यूजिंग एन ओपन सोर्स लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एज जे एक्सेल इनसाइड योर ब्राउजर यूजिंग जावास्क्रिप्ट इट कंटेन्स ऑल द कॉलम टाइम स्काइज यू विल सी दिस इज ए स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू दिस इज अ ड्रॉप डाउन यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव अ ड्रॉप डाउन इन साइड योर एक्सेल फाइल यू कैन बेसिकली सेलेक्ट एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ ड्रॉप डाउन एंड देन देर इज एन डेट हेयर यू विल सी डेट इनपुट The date picker is also there. You will see. It. You can pick any date of your choice, like this. Just double click, and basically, this date picker will open here. So, if you want to allow users inside your Excel file to basically pick the date as well, you can use this library. And also, choose file button is also there. If you double click it, you will be able to select images, pick images here, and basically insert this inside your Excel file. So, it supports a lot of features, guys. You can select images from your local file system in order to embed this inside your Excel sheet. We have also check boxes also available here. You will see that. so this is also pretty good we have the price input we can basically provide any price input of your choice we can change this we can edit these modify it on the go this is a pretty and color picker is also there so you will see we can change any color of your choice if you double click it this hexadecimal code will be there like this so all these features are available guys you can basically do this you will see that you can pick any color of your choice and then also this hexadecimal code will also be shown to you so now basically we will be showing you how to integrate this library so the name of the library is j excel if you search on google the very first link which appear this is basically the official website of this open source library a lot of examples are available right here guys you can check out their documentation i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website so you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code so now basically the very first thing you need to do go to the blog post and copy paste the cdn here so just create a index.html file and right here this is the cdn that we are including of this jxl library and all these CSS also is included, and the basically for the embedding this Excel spreadsheet, guys, from dynamic data we have provided a div section. We have got an ID, we have given this ID to be spreadsheet. So here we will be mounting our data, our Excel spreadsheet. So now we need to write the actual JavaScript code which will be required for this purpose. So what I will do is that I will write this code step by step so that you can understand. so the very first thing we will define guys is the actual data that we need to render out this data can be anything so we will define a data this can be coming from a database as well so we will define it statically here so we will this will be jazz honda so let me define this data just write this so this basically will be a simple array like here we'll say see that guys this is actual data here So after you define this data, guys, we simply need to use this library, which is uh, JS J spreadsheet. This is the name of the library. It contains a method. Sorry, it's a constructor, and here we can pass the reference. So where we need to embed. So we have given the ID here. You will see spreadsheet. So we can directly pass the ID here. Spreadsheet. and in the next argument here guys we will actually provide the data here so the data that we define right here this is a property it takes an on option the next option it takes is the column names so here we need to define the column names this will be an array of columns each column will have three properties as an object the type this will be a text field the title you need to give it so we need to give it a car model and the width of the column so which will be 90 so the next column guys which will be for the type a drop down field so we need to specify the type will be drop down title will be make and the width you can say 130 or 120 make it 120 and then guys basically we need to provide the options of the drop downs so inside 
the source this will be an array and we can provide any options of your choice so here you can provide options for for the drop down so that's all guys and after that uh, just put a comma the next field will be for the calendar so this type will be of calendar and the title will be available and width will be 120 so as you can see we are defining and next will be for the image so here the type will be for image and uh, title will be photo width will be 120 and next one will be for checkbox so various data types are available guys for taking dynamic data stock and width will be of 80 and last but not least we have uh, numeric input as well so we, here we can specify the currency so type will be numeric title will be of price so here we can even provide mask input as well so this will be for dollar and we are providing mask input like this hash symbol put a dot symbol hash comma zero zero decimal we can put here comma and last but not least we have for color input so here we can specify the type here will be of color and the width will be around 80 and we need to render a square so if you open this you will see a table is constructed and you can even resize the inputs as well you will see you can resize dynamically the width of the column right here this is your color picker this is checkbox this is the like this this is calendar so all these data fields are available where you can basically build this excel spreadsheet dynamically in browser this is actual library inside javascript guys all the source code is given in the description of the video Thank you very much for watching this video.